Orca Chief, Roy Henry Vickers, and Robert Budd. Turn the page when you hear the bell. Orca Chief. Kit Katla is a small village near Prince Rupert on the northwest coast of British Columbia. My people have lived here consciously for over 5,000 years, and this one is one of our old stories handed down for generations. In the old days, four men set out from Kit Katla to paddle to the food gathering <clears throat> place. No, today at the East of him group, it was spring the time to gather seaweed and fish for sockeye salmon. It was a long paddle when the men arrived. They wanted to drop their anchor and sleep. In those days, an anchor was a big, heavy rock with a hole carved through. It had a cedar bark rope tied through the hole. The men were so sleepy, they just threw the anchor over the side. They didn't say a prayer. They didn't ask the anchor to find a safe place to land on the bottom of the ocean. Well, the anchor did not land quick, uh, quietly on the ocean floor. It landed on the roof of the underwater house belonging to the chief of all the orca. The anchor made such a loud bang, the orca chief said to one of his helpers, a little ratfish, swim, swim up and find out who is up there and why they dropped the rock on my house. Ratfish went up to the ocean surface and he saw the canoe. Curious, he swam around and around with his tail slapping the sides of the boat. The noise woke the sleeping men one grumpy hunter reached over and grabbed the ratfish and pulled off his pulled off his fins off and threw him back in the water. Poor little ratfish swam back down and told Orca Chief about the bad people on the surface. Orca Chief became very angry. He sent two of his best warriors to the surface, telling them, bring those people down to my house. So the two orcas swam around and around and around and faster and faster and faster until they caused an enormous whirlpool that sucked the canoe right down, down, down to the bottom of the sea through the door of the big house belonging to Orca Chief. Then all was quiet. The canoe with the four surprised men in it sat on the floor of, of the big house. Orca Chief looked at the men and asked why would you drop an anchor on my roof? You should act with more respect in this world. The men were scared of the furious looking whale and they started crying. They begged the chief, please have pity on us. We were tired. Yes, we were disrespectful. We were, we are sorry. We didn't know you had a house down here. We will learn to be more careful. We will learn. Orca Chief 
was kind, so he asked two of his best hunters to take these men and show them the ocean. He said, show them all of the food, even the little sea cucumbers that move slowly on the ocean for ten them what is good to eat. Most importantly, he instructed the men always give thanks to those things that are going to become your food. The then the orca chief orca hunters took the men and advent on an adventure to show them all the beautiful things as they traveled through the underworld sea. Then Whale showed the men the when the tide stops coming in and start going out, everything slows down. This is the best time to catch halibut, line, cod, and red snapper. Then the orca chief took the men and I to an island with a shallow bay shaped like a saucer with a creek flowing into it. And they s saw how the many huge, beautiful appear with the uh, creek. Crabs. Crabs fall this time. The men took their paddles and held them out to the crabs. The crabs bit the paddles and the men lifted them into the canoe. Good thanks. The orca then brought the men to the place where the Skeena River meets the Pacific Ocean and showed the men where the Oakin come in the spring. The orca explained, you can also call these candlefish because when they are caught and dried, you can light them on fire. They are so rich with oil. The oil would become an important part of the diet of the people and so valuable. They would trade it all over the world. Do you the men could see a Proud of humpbacks working as a team surrounding a school of herring. The whales swam in a circle and blew bubbles, keeping the thousand of fish together as they swam around. And around the circle got thousands of fish smaller, smaller and the herring were four orcas close together into a shiny silver ball. When the wa was family, female of the group detected it, decided. decided it was time, she let out a loud call, which blew bubbles underneath. The herring, herring, forcing them to uh, the surface. It wa was as if she were saying, okay, come on, get it. She was the oldest mother, and it was her job to make sure her family had enough to eat at her call. The whale swam under and scooped up the herring. herring. It, there, 
in their open mouths as they the men watched this family did they remember their own mothers calling them for dinner and they smiled as they imagined the hugs imagine the hugs they would share once they returned to the village After many more lessons, the Katla men were taken back to the surface. Much time had passed. It was now the middle of summer. The men sang songs and paddled with new respect for all that lived below the surface. As they traveled through the wide channel between two islands, they heard loud squeals and saw their friends coming to say goodbye. The orca clans came to celebrate playing and jumping out of the water, bringing their children to show them the majesty, majesty of the world above. In the middle of this joyful gathering, the men, rem- the men remembered that they had promised to bring back food to their village. They had been gone a very long time, but the canoe, their canoe was still empty. So they decided to try out what they had learned. They remembered what, whenever the orca approached, all the fish would scatter and hide. They paddled through their canoe away from the orca toward a large kelp bed near the rocks. The kelp were as tall as trees and firmly 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 anchored the to the bottom the men cast out their net and waited with great experiment excitement excitement they knew the fish would hide in the kelp forest anyway Mm -hmm. from away from the dancing Splashing orca. Suddenly, wash the whole net went under the water. When the when they pulled up net, the net it was full of fish. The men paddled home with lessons to share, and a boat boat full of sockeye for everyone and a whole village gave thanks.